and let us all that we can to build a better future. Uh, this has to deal with Steven Donziger. Steven Donziger is a hero. Steven Donziger is someone who stood up against Chevron and actually won a case. The people of uh, the indigenous people of Ecuador were being polluted. Their water sources were being contaminated. And he does not deserve his sentencing. We actually covered in the show earlier this week where uh, Roger Waters was um, speaking or reading a statement that Stephen Downziger wrote while he was in, uh, in prison. And we need to keep on speaking about Stephen Downziger because if we remain silent, if we choose to ignore his story, everyone else will be on the chopping block. What Stephen Downziger did was heroic. What Stephen Downziger did was needed for our democracy, for, for, again, holding these corporations accountable. And right now, our judicial system failed us. Our judicial system is making him into an example. And we cannot afford that anymore. So let's play this video. There are so many wonderful activists and organizers that are still standing in solidarity with Stephen Donziger. Let's play this video. To stand with Stephen, to stand against extractive industry and how it impacts indigenous communities around the world. Powerful video. We're, we're going to keep on talking about Stephen Downsugar. What is happening to him is disgusting. In jail for a misdemeanor, too. After being two years in, in, uh, under, under home confinement, the man and his family have suffered enough. And this is happening under a Democratic administration. So I would, I would say to Biden, you know, you are president of the United States. You could pardon him, get him out of jail right now. You could do that. Uh, in the show notes in the description box below, there is a, there is a link to that uh, video that we played. And uh, there's a petition that you can sign. Um, and also, be sure to write to your Congress leaders. I know, writing to our Congress leaders, expecting them to do anything, but we have to keep on speaking about this. If we let them do this to Stephen Donziger, it's going to serve an example for others on not to stand up to big oil. These corporations that are polluting our fresh water supplies, our environment. And before anyone else types in, uh, yes, our entire infrastructure is surrounded by fossil fuel en energies. But it's time for us to invest into green energies, different alternative fuel sources, so that we don't damage our environment anymore. 
and Stephen Donziger won his case against Chevron. And Chevron, a pi private corporation, is doing this to him. The judicial system failed us. He must be freed immediately. This is, an entire, this is a joke. But we're seeing this happen to whistleblowers or people that stand up to the establishment. And what happens? They get punished. They get put on the chopping block. This is our democracy. If we don't fight for that better future, we're done for. Free Steven Donziger. He must be pardoned immediately. And I want to give a huge shout out to Amazon Watch that put that video together. So many people need to stand in solidarity with Steven Donziger. He did the right thing. And if we don't do this now, who else will step up? We need more people like Steven Donziger and so many other whistleblowers and independent journalists that are speaking up. We cannot be silent anymore. The silence must be avoided. The silence must stop. Free Steven Donziger.